just like Honorable Irene has said, um, these girls who are here are actually history makers. They have broken, they've broken a, a barrier that has never been broken in Kenya since 1963 by being the first football team to ever qualify to any World Cup of any kind. And we want to tell them congratulations for doing so. This is a testimony that the future of football in Kenya is great, and I believe that uh, they are going to do a great job. Your Excellency, in Africa, we are only th three countries that have qualified. That is Zambia, Nigeria, and the great Kenya. Your Excellency, also, you know, these people are going to start in a group. Uh, the, 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 the teams are grouped into three groups, and in group C, they are going to meet the best, the best of the best in the world. And we believe they will emerge the, 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 the best out of the group. They will play, they will play, they will play England, Ioni Ugali Sosa. Um, they will also be playing Mexico, and they will be playing uh, the Republic of Korea. And I believe that out of those three matches, they will emerge the top in their group and qualify to the next stage up to the finals. The thing about this experience is that, Your Excellency, no matter what happens, uh, in this exposure to these young people is going to open doors for a number of these players and uh, watch this space you will be seeing some of these young people here playing in uh, top leagues in Europe and other parts of the world and I believe they will do so and it's also a testimony of integration of education and sports and I believe we will go far in the process of qualification Your Excellency um, uh, just before I say that, I, first of all, I want to say that this work has been made successful because of teamwork. And that teamwork was led by my predecessor, Honorable Babu Namwamba, in the ministry, and PS2, and the rest of the team members who are here, and they did a very good job. And uh, I want to congratulate everybody who participated. I want to also congratulate FKF for the work they did, uh, and their team, their president, and their members here for a job well done. And I want to congratulate also the technical team, the coach, uh, who has done um, a very good job to take our girls to this level, playing difficult teams and being this, uh, at this stage. In the course of qualification, Your Excellency, uh, a number of players participated in pushing for our qualification. And you know uh, football, how it happens. You know, as, as, they, as they did so, some of the players who pushed us to get to the qualification, uh, after the stage of qualification, you know, there's a period of time, your form as a player changes and all that. And uh, some of the players were drafted, if I can use that word, from the last uh, national football teams uh, games. And the coach and the scouts did a very good job to get very good players. These players have been chosen professionally. In football, uh, nobody else chooses uh, the team all over the world. It's only the manager and goes for the best people. I'm saying the coach, the best people. And in the course of uh, choosing the team, one player who participated in the qualification got injured. Uh, Your Excellency is trying to uh, get her name. Uh, that is um, Shalina Mwok got injured in the process of, uh, of preparation for this game, actually when she was playing for her school uh, in the national games, and she's not able to participate uh, actually fully because she's not fit to participate. Uh, there are also two other players, Claire Marys and uh, Michelle Waidera, who never made the cut, even though, Your Excellency, they participated in pushing for our qualification. Um, I already spoken to you um, about this. And I want to reiterate here that uh, even though they are not going to travel as uh, part of these players as a team, I want to request your kind office to find uh, in your uh, eternal generation and kindness to support these three players to go as part of the fans, to go and support this team from the stands there and watch their friends play, Your Excellency. That will be a very positive gesture to make them uh, get that opportunity to be also participate in the World Cup uh, in that process. And uh, with all those remarks, I want to say thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. This is, this is uh, part of your delivery bottom-up. 
uh, these players were picked from the grassroots and now they are here uh, going to the World Cup in two years for your f serious support, particularly when you insisted that sports fund must support only sports activities. We gave about 300 million last year to schools to organize these games and this is some of the products. Some of our boys also have gone out of the country. Going forward, Your Excellency, I have told my team that our primary place for getting athletes, uh, footballers, and other is schools. And I will be sitting down with my colleague, Honorable uh, Mikos, to make sure that we have a clarity of policy of how education will intertwine with uh, sports so that we continue getting the best talent from grassroots from our schools. And that is going to be our very, even this coming year, we will continue putting more resources to schools to produce the best young people to move our country forward. With those many remarks, it's now my greatest honor and pleasure to invite you, Your Excellency.